Two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. That's Charles Beeson. Today we're checking out Dream Theater, Solitary Shell, live at Badokan. Badokan. Shout out to our Patreon, Rinran. Yeah. Honestly, I like the stage setup. Just it, yeah. First thought, it looks like they got they could have three screens going. I like the lighting up top there too. Oh yeah. Um, this is like what our third Dream Theater song. I believe so. We didn't like one. We liked the other. Yep. So we're going to try the third one. See what Check happens. Check it out. See what happens. See what happens. Let's just, uh, let's end it, bud. Let's do it. Let's see the head. Interesting. Um, and I was uh, I haven't seen too many of the double guitar thing. Yeah, that he was had going on. I haven't seen too much of that utilized. I've seen a triple utilized in a show. Really? Yeah, that's nuts. Uh, cheap trick. Okay. Nope. First time I saw a te- cheap trick at a festival, I was like, "Oh my god, he's got three guitars." <laughs> like, what is that? That's a triple. What the hell? Yeah. That's the only time I've ever seen it, though. I don't know. That sounds like a cheap trick. Indeed it was. 
<laughs> um, this the keyboard is. I'm loving the keyboard. Oh, dude, the keyboard has such a nice element to this whole thing. I agree. I um, definitely think that just the technical performance is gnarly. Absolutely, because you could tell like there's not a ton of energy with the stage presence. Yeah, there's really not. But there's so much that just the technical range that they have going on with the instrumentals yeah is nuts yeah um my only qualm so far yeah i'm not a big fan of his vocals during the verses okay i love it during the chorus like it sounds great and there's a little yeah. range there that could just be the song yeah um but uh that and i i'm hoping he doesn't ask people to sing again <laughs> It's like one of my pet peeves that shows, and they're like, sing, sing, I'll sing. You ain't going to ask me. Tell me what to do. There's the rebel in Joel. Well, the worst is when they're saying that, and then everyone in the crowd is just like. Yeah. And it's like they're like, it almost feels like desperation that they're like trying to get people to sing with, sing with me. Where typically like someone with a great stage presence doesn't need to do that at all. Yeah. Because people just sing. Nightwish is a good example of that. Yep. People are just, even just humming along with the instruments. Uh-huh. But um, he's only said it like twice. It's yeah. not really that big of a deal. But twice in one song. Yeah. I and mean, you're not really seeing a whole lot of the crowd aspect either. Of no, the, you're not. What, because it's very dark. Yeah. Um. So that's just me being nitpicky, guys. Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with the lighting being just simply on stage. I, I think in general, yeah. just when you're when you've gone to hundreds of shows, yeah. like I have or we have, yeah. you start finding little things that irritate you. <laughs> one shows. one of them for me is the sing when nobody in the crowd's feeling it. Which you know, it sucks for sure. Yeah. And I get it. But like I don't know, it almost feels worse when you're like, Come on guys, sing. Guys, sing along. And then they don't. And nobody does. Yeah, and it's yeah. like worse then. Um, and the other one, your pet peeve. You ready? Want to call it out? Call it out. Bring it. At the end, where they do a planned encore. Yep. It's a huge irritant with Chuck. 100%. I went to uh, the biggest one. The biggest one that drove me nuts. I went to a, it was an Eminem Rihanna concert, and it was during the Monster Tour, and they did an encore, and then they left. And then people started getting up, but they hadn't played Monster yet. And this is where your experienced concert goers like, give it a sec here. <laughs> yep. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. Don't make it that obvious. And, and the classic <laughs> is, is the lights come on. Yep. Chances are it's over. Chances. Chance. Chances yep. are. Though I've had a few off ones where they like are playing and you're walking away. You're like, what the fuck? Yep. But, um. You, you actually soured me on those a little bit. You always, you were belly about them like every time we saw a show that did it. And the then, play it on And then, yeah, because I used to cheer for them too. Yeah. Come on out. And then you're like, they're going to come out whether you cheer or not. So, yeah. <laughs> then I just sit there and like, all right, save yep. my voice for the songs. You know what I mean? Yep. I, I really, I never really got the chance to experience an organic encore. Yeah. And I don't know that they really exist anymore. But I, I think, I think we've had a few probably, maybe. But they still every encore just feels the bigger the band. Absolutely, planned they're planned point. so they can get some water, rest yeah. their hands for a second, oh, go yeah. back out. Because a lot of times, like depending on how big the set is, I find it fine. Like, yeah. especially if you're doing like a. You know, oh, I totally get taking the break, taking a break, getting some water. Wiping the sweat off, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah, typically what it's when, when it's like, this is our last song. And you're like, God, it's not your last song. Yeah. It, don't, don't. You got 30 minutes me. left. I know, I know. <laughs> Why are you lying to me? I don't like this. And I've been to concerts where it's like, they hit after an hour and a half of playing. The guy's just like, all right, I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back. Yeah. And he leaves cool. for like 20 minutes, comes back and just starts straight crowd interaction. Yep. For like another forty minutes, and then continues the set, and I could get behind that wholeheartedly. I was say when uh, Silverstein, and I watched Silverstein do a three set show. Yeah, that was they took breaks, but they never really said, "Hey, this is our last song," and like yep. preempted. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, you know, they're just taking a break back there, and then they yeah. come back out. 
And then when uh, a few brewskis or something, and then they're like, yep. come back. Yep. And I went to another concert with an artist who does who has done multiple genres. Yeah. And he's like, okay, so I'm gonna take a break real quick, and I'm gonna come back in like ten minutes, and we're gonna switch over to this other genre. It's like, okay, all right, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean the 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 other I think pet peeve is just standing there. I think for me. Yep, I can't stand it, dude. There and they're just I no can't energy. Stand it because so I've come seen. On, move around a I mean, bit. we've seen so many bands or so many groups where even if it's a smaller space and you're playing an instrument, you're still moving around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was going to point out that that's not exactly happening here. They are moving. No, around they are. They yeah, are. yeah. Yeah. So I was being clear that this has nothing to do with the video. Exactly. Just me ranting. Right. But, um, I've, I have legitly seen bands that sounded like dog shit Yeah. and their energy on stage got me to add songs into my playlist. Oh yeah. By the way, this is two boys, one brain cell, and uh, you could tell that we like tangents. I mean, technically, it's not a tangent exactly. It's, it's on. It's on topic. <laughs> it's, I, we're talking about music this time, at least. Right? Yeah, normally it, it goes down a wormhole, and <laughs> yeah, that's it where does. it's a problem. It's like, hey, live shows, and you're like, yeah, when I was at the comedy show, and then you're like, hey, there's a comedian. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and that's that's where it's a problem. Like tangents are, you know. Yep, a hundred percent. I feel like this is at least we're we're on topic, bud. We're good. We're doing all right, good. All right, we're all doing right. good. Yes. Hope y'all are just enjoying yourself, just sitting there. <laughs> Listen to us bicker about <laughs> all the shows we've been to. <laughs> Pet peeves about concerts. Do you have any other ones? That is my big one. Yeah. I know um, I think one. the other one is whenever you're at a concert, you have a big decision. It's either enjoy yourself and just throw your worries out the window or be a grumpy, grumpy, you know, asshole. I don't know how else to put that. And I can't stand it when somebody has chosen just to just be a grumpy asshole. I, like I'll are, feel that, that decision are, coming and just dive in. Anyway. Are, you, are you talking about that guy at the interrupter show? I a hundred percent. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Chuck's like about calls out. If you were at the interrupter show, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you dumped a beer on the people in the pit. <laughs> For why? Yeah. Yeah, he, he changed his tune real quick when he had like six people around him, like, hey, motherfucker, that's not cool. Yep. Which I mean you, you have to do, unfortunately. Which um, what was the there's another one that's oh, the vocals being down, the sound people not doing anything about it. Yep. How, if I can hear that, yep, and you're behind me, you should be able to hear that too. Yep. Get the vocals up. Yep. Like it's like when Do you like, expect people to sing along when they can't hear you. When they're like looking around, they're like, "Can can people hear me?" <laughs> you know, like, no, we can't. We cannot. <laughs> we cannot hear you at all. We're just going off the fact that we know it. <laughs> That's typically like I, I'll be two songs in. I'm like, oh my god, they're not going to change the vocals. Oh my god, and then they change it. I'm like, oh, oh they did it. Yeah, and. Obviously, you if you have a good team, yeah, they're working on it. It's usually within two songs, you're set. Yeah, you're good to go yeah, for absolutely. your whole set. Uh, absolutely, and typically, I feel like that's a small band thing where their yeah. sound person is not on top of it, or depends on also, I guess, if they're a lot sound of learning person, curves. If the sound person is like part of the event yeah. itself, yep. Because there's there, there's a lot of different change ups. Sometimes it's not the band's fault at all. Yep, a lot of variables. Yep. Okay, enough of us bullshitting. Let's, Let's get back into our solitary spin. shell. I'm going to back it up just a smidgen. Good idea.
So the crowd did indeed love it. Yep. Uh, I will, uh, I'll say this um, about that last portion. I love how they really dove in and gave uh, each instrument had like a spot. Sure. A little spotlight to it. I really like it when bands do stuff like that just because it, it really shows that, hey, everybody good. Yeah. We're, we're all great. We're, we're all here. Working as a team, right? We're all doing it. Yep. Um, I think the highlights for me here. Yes. Were keyboard. Oh, yeah. Followed by drums. Okay. Followed by guitar. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, I didn't notice the bass a whole lot. Um, and his vocals absolutely weren't terrible by any means. Um, right. I think the keyboard really just stole the show. It really did. A lot of that keyboard play. It just like, melded really nice into the other instrumentals. Uh-huh. And it was just there, and it was nice, and it really took my attention more so than anything else. I agree. And that guitar, anytime he changed, you know, the neck he was using was just, oh, it's another song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just so vast and just flowed still effortlessly almost. Yeah. It was really nice. The, that was very interesting. The only guitar work that I wasn't a giant fan of was when it towards the end there where it was like very acoustic-y sounding. Where certain, honestly, I caught a lot of certain parts of that just sounded like one string. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't dig the twanginess of that. But I feel like that's extremely, uh, if that's a little area of the that, song. That, as well. Yeah. And that's very, that's a very technical play. Just sure. Yeah. I have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about for sure. Yeah. I, I, I mean, neither. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just didn't sound phenomenal yeah. to my ears, but the rest of the guitar work in the song was oh, yeah. fantastic for oh, sure. Yeah. And you're right. That drummer was going. He was. He and, was. Did, and, and he was always had a smile on his face, too. Yeah. And I, I think, like smiling drummers. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is. They just made everything seem so effortless, and I know they really did. They I, did. I I understand they obviously it's a big band. They do this day in and day out. It almost made, but it's still interesting it, to see effortless. You're like, oh, this isn't that big of a deal because they made it look like it's not a big yeah. deal. But you really think about how technical the song is. Yeah, yeah. It's like, damn. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where are you going rating wise? Rating wise on this one, I think I'm going to go with a six point eight. Okay. And I'm going to add it to a playlist. I'm going to go with a 6.2. It's definitely going to go to a playlist. Keyboard sold me out. Sold me. <laughs> the keyboard was really nice. Hell yeah. Um, and the uh, telling people to sing, that doesn't bother me. It's like it does you. But Yeah, it was two times. I mean, it yeah. really wasn't a big deal. Right. I just felt the need to bring it up. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I was like, I want to bellyache about something. <laughs> I want to complain, damn it. I don't even know if it was in general about the song, but it reminded me of an irritant. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yep. hundred percent. And then I was like, well, well let's let's share our irritants of concerts. Why not? <laughs> and then we went down the road. In, the, in the, the middle of a, <laughs> a uh, song. <laughs> Dream it, Theater fans, it, I'm sorry. It felt it felt like a whole new song to Chuck because he forgot the first part of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very me thing to do. <laughs> this has me written all over it. Shit. <laughs> it's like, no wonder everything sounded different. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed our content, hit that like button. Join us, our uh, community. If, if you would like, smash that subscribe button. Come hang out. We have fun. Shout out to our Patreon for the pick. We appreciate you. You the man. And until next time, guys, we're two boys. We, we got, got one brain, brain cell. cell. I'm Joel Norris, Charles Beats, and drop down in the comments who gets that brain cell. Until next time, peace out. Peace.